Alright, what's going on guys? It's Goonzig here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now, today guys, I thought we would hop in and play some MX vs. ATV Reflex. So it's been a while since I've played this game, but this game, if you guys have been following along with the channel, you, you know that I absolutely love this game. Like, Reflex is iconic. It's always gonna have a place in my heart and I'm probably like always gonna play it. I'm always gonna have this game somewhere in my life. Uh, I don't upload it much anymore because it's not really like the popular game but it's a ton of fun and the game itself is like one of the best ones out there. One of the best moto games out there you know besides like MX Simulator or whatever but going off of like the arcade MX games Reflex can't be beat. I'm sorry guys, you can agree with me or disagree with me, let me know in the comments, but like, honestly, I love Reflex. So, we're here today and we're going to be playing High Point by RDC Custom Tracks, so let's get into the video. Alright guys, so I thought I would kick this video off just by going through like the Reflex Central post and what is actually included in the download because I want to give a huge shout out to the track creators and yep, that's right, I said track creators. There was more than one person that actually worked on this track, so it is a replica of High Point but we'll get into that here in a second. The description on Reflex Central goes as follows, alright, it says, RDC Custom Tracks proudly presents to you High Point Raceway for MX vs ATV Reflex, an AMA national located in southwestern Pennsylvania near Mount Morris. This track has been on the circuit for 42 years and counting. This was created around the design of the 2015 High Point layout, so it's a replica of the 2015 High Point layout, and it's done by three track creators. You guys remember when I said there was more than one track creator? Well, we have Red Rider, we have Dark Slides, and we have C4. Three iconic people working on a track, and as soon as I saw, that is actually who made the track. Okay, actually, what happened? I saw the I saw the like track creator's name, and I was like, man, who is this? Like, who who created High Point? And then I read the description, and I was like, no way. Red Rider, Dark Slides, and C4 worked together to produce this. Like, these guys make killer tracks on their own, and like coming together to make one. I could not wait to play it. So, continuing on in the description, it goes. This track we give you is one for the record books and hopefully one of many to come. Yeah, I hope so too. But for now, enjoy the fruits of our hard work and labor as we are finally ready to go get some much needed sleep. So these guys grinded it out. It's national slot one in the track. Like amazing reviews, amazing reviews in the comments, honestly. Like 10 out of 10, like 10 out of 10 everywhere. Look, 11 out of 10. Now this is the file that you're gonna get to when you actually try and download the track. It's gonna bring you over to Google Drive. And of course there are three text files, well kind of four text files. One goes over the extra content. You can head over to ds19.eu and check out some more versions of the track if you want like a low res version or backwards track or a free free ride version right like there's different options on dark slides website but then there's actually text files that go into detail about like what each person did on the track so if you guys want to read these and kind of figure out what each person did on the track then you guys can do that but for the sake of the video i'm just gonna go ahead and uh hop into the gameplay i think so if you guys want to check all this stuff out in detail go ahead and do it i've read it all i would say it's worth a read like it just kind of goes over like what each person did on the track and then it goes in and gives a little backstory on you know who each person is and blah 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 so if you guys want to find out more about each of the three track creators go ahead and check those files now here is the picture so this is the image on reflex central and that's a pretty high definition image if you ask me and then of course we have the track itself which whoops there was a problem with the preview so uh yeah basically you just got to download that install it into reflex and load up the game now guys i just want to say before we hop into this i haven't played reflex in a long time it's been a while and my skills my skills are going to be a little rusty all right we're going to be a little rusty at the game so bear with me here we're just here to have some fun with an iconic game and just enjoy it so that's the plan of the video and let's get in to the riding ah good old reflex and that that orange neck i love it i love it all right 
fix that and we should be good to go i think it's nationals slot one which bike oh man choices i hate choices um uh takashi i don't even know shima let's go with the shima full send with the shima and then national slot one so we're gonna do maybe i don't know three to five laps we'll figure it out as we go we'll figure it out as we go but let's hop into it look at that empty starting gate we're the only one on the track turned off that ai if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me go down in the comments let me know your thoughts on the track down below and uh other than that click that subscribe button and we're getting into the gameplay this is what you guys came here for but i feel like it's always good to give trek <laughs> english is tough Oh my god, we're sliding out. I feel like it's always good to give credit where credit is due because like these guys probably busted their balls to make this track. And if you're just gonna hop in and play it and not give credit, man, that's a that's a that's a dick move. But uh I'm here. I decided, you know, since I'm gonna be playing their track, like credit credit is due, you know? You gotta give credit when it's due. And these guys absolutely killed it. Like this track is a ton of fun. I've done a couple motos on it. And, like, I suck. It, I, I really suck. And I'll get into the whole, like, difficulty of the track in a, in a, you know, in a little bit. Oh, my God, as we're jumping off track. But I think, you know, these guys absolutely killed it. So go check out the channels. If you, if you haven't, they all have, I think they all have YouTube channels. They're all on social media somewhere. You know, whether it be within the Reflex community or on their own YouTube thing or doing whatever they do. So maybe I'll link everyone down in the description below because these guys like they killed it they killed it and you don't see many people making reflex tracks anymore so like i said you gotta show credit when credit is new i want to see more i'd be hyped to see more they kind of hinted that there are many projects to come so maybe maybe we will get to see more but, oh this section's so fun down through here look just just take this in guys this is a replica of high point and just take in like the quality of the track and i'm not even just talking about like the physical track that i'm riding on i'm talking about like the banners all of the custom objects like just think about the countless hours that went in to making this right like it's absolutely insane and the ruts work good the ruts grab you everything everything rides really really well and it's not easy to do that when you're making a track it is not easy to do that i really wish that some of the off track resets were a little a little more you know lenient a little more uh out there if that makes sense like they're, they're pretty close to the track and you jump off track a little bit it's gonna reset you like right away like almost instantly so that's one area where i think track creators kind of gotta be gotta be careful because you can just get a little sketch and go off track a little bit and get get reset right and that's not fun that's not fun but that's like me being really picky honestly like <laughs> the track for how it rides everything is just outstanding now let's talk about the difficulty like i said there there is a difficulty factor to it and i said we would talk about it so it's not your typical like hop in and hold it wide open reflex track it's a totally different scene like it's a totally different type of track like you really have to try and nail your lines hit hit your lines hit your corners good and that's how you go fast on this track like i'm riding like a goon right now and my lap times are gonna be poop right like uh, i'm not hitting the corners good i'm not flowing around the track and uh that's costly that's costly it costs a lot on a track like this when you can be like railing ruts and, and just hitting corners good and everything trust me the the track flows but when you're not riding the track how it's supposed to be ridden you goon it up you really do goon it up but it takes almost a little bit of patience because you can't just hold it wide open into every corner and you have to kind of like choke up a little bit and slow down it almost takes it i, I don't even want to say this really but it almost takes it a little bit towards mx simulator or like almost a little more realistic right it gives it a little more realism because rather than it just being you know hold it wide open and go as fast as you can like honestly you have to slow up you have to ride how you kind of would in real life you know break going into the corners get into the rut and then you can gas it once you're once you're lined up set up in the corner and then you can accelerate right you kind of have to think about line choice and everything and 
it's difficult. It's not an easy track by any means, but once you start, once you start getting that flow, it, it's a ton of fun. You can actually triple here. I don't even know if I've hit it in this video. But of course, as we're talking about flow and the difficulty of the track, I find the track challenging, but it's good because I don't really like the tracks where you just hop in and hold it wide open. They're they're almost too easy, and this like gives me a challenge. It gives me a challenge to try and try and ride smooth, ride smart, and uh, hit clean laps as we're gooning it up, bouncing through this section. Oh, that inside is nasty, nasty. But yeah, to sum it up, like it's not. It's not a super easy track. It's a really well done, well made track, and um, um, like on point replica, like a killer replica of High Point. But it's difficult. It's tricky, and it's not just like hop in and, and shred everything. You know, you're gonna have to take some time to learn some lines and learn where you need to slow up. Like right here, trying to jump up over this. I've been trying to do it every lap, and it's been screwing us over. Right, so we kind of got to choke up a little bit there hit a different line and uh, it's all about line choice. Line choice is key and that's where the difficulty comes in because you actually have to think about your lines now. I want to check something here. I want to check something along the start straight or actually we have a little bit of time but I think I may have seen a Goonzig banner and I honestly did not expect that. I did not expect to see a Goonzig banner. Let's see here. Let's check out all the banners. Let's check it out. So who do we got here? We got C4, we got Dark Slides, and we got Red Rider. You know what? It actually might not be a Goonzig banner. Maybe it was... Is it? No, okay. I thought this was a Goonzig banner. Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship. That, my friends, is not a Goonzig banner. I was like, man, <laughs> why would there be a Goonzig banner on this track? Like, I haven't been doing anything for Reflex recently, and why me out of everybody? <laughs> Oh, dude, that's jokes, but such a fun track, a killer track. I really think this track, just judging by the marks I'm leaving after, after what, four laps? I think this track would get gnarly with like 12 guys on here running like 10 laps. I think it would get absolutely insane, like insane. So I can't really get in and like get multiplayer, get a multiplayer lobby going on this track right now. But I can get the AI going. We can see how the AI do and see, you know, maybe after one lap how the track's looking. But, uh, <laughs> let's get it. This is going to be gnarly. This is going to be gnarly. Let's see how they do. They're actually not doing too bad. They got that first section down pot. Look at that. Let's go. Oh, yeah. See, we railed it that time. We got through that section super fast now. Down through here. Case, 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 case. Oh, what is good, boys? McGrath. Oh, I crushed him. I crushed him. So it's been like, what, one lap? It's been like one lap and the track's already starting to get destroyed. So I can only imagine what it would get like once you actually get, once you actually get like a, a, a bunch of people in here doing a bunch of laps. Like a, a group of guys putting in a moto on this track and it would probably be, oh my goodness, it would probably be destroyed. It would be, it would be clapped. I can almost guarantee it. It would be clapped. It actually might might like start to ride really good once all the lines start to get broken in and everything, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's uh, a story for another video because this is where I'm going to end it, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to go down, smash that thumbs up button for me. Leave a comment down below and let me know that you did enjoy. And other than that, I will catch you guys all in another video. Peace out.